Agriculture is facing terrible consequences from climate change. Last year, severe droughts affected many countries across all over the world. As a result, millions of farmers lost their harvests. Climate shock like this can compromise the local and the global food security. But with the use of satellite images, it is possible to forecast drought events and tell which field will need more water. Authorities managing water and agriculture could use satellite images together with information technologies to help farmers in preventing losses from climate change. For example, if a drought is forecasted, the Water Authority could enforce rules to plant drought-resistant crops and uh, forbid irrigation where it is not strictly needed. But what if the forecast was wrong? wrong? What would happen in case of false alarm? Would it cause farmers to get hungry? These are the doubts that make water authorities skeptical and limit the adoption of information technologies in agriculture. The research I'm carrying out aims at defining a decision model to understand when and how to use such technologies. To do so, I'm working together with water authorities across Europe and in developing countries. The implementation of my decision model showed the first results. If the accuracy of the forecast is above predefined thresholds, preventive action can be implemented and water is delivered only to the field with the crop which are more thirsty. Losses due to climate change are mitigated. More stable harvests are guaranteed across years to farmers. And finally, the environmental impact of irrigated agriculture is reduced. I estimated the benefits of such decision model to be around 100,000 euros per year in each water authority considered. Up to the 40% of the water used every year in agriculture can be saved. But such results are not to be considered individually. They are a further step in the achievement of a secure and safe access to food and water in those years and those countries where water is always and always more precious and limited. Thank you.